Hello boys and girls. It's time for science class with teacher Johannes. Our topic for today is SPS3 which is science process skills 3. The subtopic is measuring and using numbers. Measuring and using numbers. What is measuring and using numbers? Let's see the definition first. Measuring is a skill to make observation using numbers and standard unit tools. This means students have to use numbers and tools to make observation about an event or an object. In this topic, we will learn how to measure time, how to measure weight, and how to measure length. Boys and girls, let's learn how to measure time. What tools do we use to measure time? Yes, it's a stopwatch. Do you know what is a stopwatch? A stopwatch is a tool used to measure time. We need stopwatch to measure time. There are two types of stopwatch. A digital stopwatch and analog stopwatch. A digital stopwatch and analog stopwatch. The standard unit measurement for time is seconds. Second. Boys and girls, you need to know in measuring time, the important thing is the tool, stopwatch, and the unit, second. Tool is stopwatch and unit is second. Let's read the conversation between a teacher and his students. Teacher, how do we record the time of our run? We can use a digital stopwatch. How do we use it? Actually, there are three steps to use stopwatch. Let's find out together. The first step, you have to push the button on the left to reset the time to zero. The first step, you have to push this button to reset the time here to zero. Second step, push this button to start recording the time. Push the button on the right to start recording the time. Step number three, push this button again to stop recording so you can take the reading here. Do you know how to read it to take the reading? This is the examples of stopwatch reading. There are minutes reading and seconds reading. 
What is the time showed by the stopwatch? Can you read? It's 3 minutes and 59 seconds. 3 is referring to the minutes reading and 59 is referring to the seconds reading. Let's move on to measuring weight. How do we measure weight? What tool do we use? Can you guess? We use weighing scale to measure weight of objects. Do you know what weighing scale looks like? Let's see the pictures. There are many types of weighing scales. And the standard unit measurements for weight are gram and kilogram. Boys and girls, the important things that you need to know in measuring weight is we use weighing scale as tool and the unit are gram and kilogram. Now, we will learn about measuring length. Do you know what tool we use to measure length? Yes, we use ruler to measure length of an object. Do you have a ruler with you today? Standard unit measurement for length is centimeter. Centimeter. Boys and girls, once again, in measuring length, what you need to know is the tool is ruler and the unit is centimeter. Now, Let's find out how to measure length accurately. How do, you, how do we measure length correctly? There are two steps. The first step is to place the end of an object in line with the zero mark. This means you put an object the end of it, the end of the object must be in line with the zero mark. This is the zero mark. The end of the object should be in line. The second step, you take the reading. The correct position of the eyes when taking reading is at the tick. This is the correct position of the eyes. So, the correct length measurement is 9 centimeters. Now, let's take a look at your task for today, you have to do activity on page 4 and activity on page 5. On page 4, observe situation below, name the, name the tools and the standard unit of measurement used to measure correctly. Look at picture number one. A man is holding a tool.
to measure time. What is the name of the tool and the standard unit used by the tool? Let's look at page 5. Measure the length of the following object using the correct tool and standard unit of measurement. Measure the length. What tool do we use to measure the length? Yes, correct. It's a ruler. For example, to measure the scissor, you need to put your ruler on the line next to the scissors. Make sure the end of the scissor is in line with the ruler. Make sure the end of the scissor is in line with the zero marks on the ruler. Then you can take the readings. After you take the reading, you record the length of all the objects in the table below. For example, scissors, you put the length that you recorded here, rubber, sharpener, and pencils. Don't forget to write the units to centimeters. Question number two. What is the tool used to measure the length of the objects above? We use what? Can you guess? Yes, we use ruler. Very good. Why did you use that tool? It's because the ruler measures the length. What? You have to complete the sentence. Because ruler measures length. What? Complete the answer here. Okay? We've learned it in the previous slide. You can refer to the previous slide for the answer. This is the end for our lessons today. I wish you good luck and see you again. Bye!